Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode we came to a conclusion of the whole that uh, thing that was happening with Junko, I and everyone and <clears throat> like Junko stood up for I in a way and Junko kind of said that no, like you know, like uh, even if we lose, even if we win, we are not giving I you know like with like the, she kind of declared it and all the other members were also there and i am really glad something like that happened in the previous episode it could have been just like i saying that like you know that oh like i won't go to your guys's group even if like you know they lost i could have said that but i'm really glad that the other teammates stood up for her that kind of shows us the friendship the amount of what can i say like the love that they have for their teammate and like that's really like what can i say quite rare in like usually as like animes go we kind of see like the person who is the actual uh you know uh person in question he or she kind of explains and like says and takes a decision that no i won't go there or something like that but this time it was kind of the reverse uh his friend her friends kind of helped her and said that no even if we lose we are not giving i to like you know she is our teammate and she'll be with us so that was one thing that i was really impressed with the previous episode i'm glad it went to uh, to that route and yeah and you know like it was a great like the whole performance was also great everything was great and it was a good like you know uh like what can i say conclusion to this whole thing and this also shows that all the other members of France Shushu also kind of grew up. You know, they were always relying on I and now they kind of like grew up in a way where they themselves can handle themselves. And you know, like I is just like the leader. She'll also be with them. And yeah. So yeah, that was it. And so let's see what this episode is about. This is episode number five of Zombieland Saga. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, they got the shout out as well. I forgot about that. From Idol Phil. And Yamadata started drumming as well. I think that was the best part of the previous episode. Tai was drumming. <laughs> okay. Ohayo gozai. <laughs> oh hi. Oh no. Oh no. She interrupted Kotaro. Why is Yes! <laughs> what? Yeah, what is this? Okay. Go <laughs> there, go and just sit down. Okay, you have Tai's attention as well. Okay. Japanese got perform. Oh, they're going international or something. <laughs> Tai. Japanese got performance. <laughs> wow, this is great. That's a good idea, you know, now that I think about it. Yeah. Kotaro had to know. 
<laughs> Kotar was unable to talk. Oh my god, I feel bad for him. I'm wondering what was Kotaro going to do like you know he was kind of uh, wearing these kind of like you know swimming tubes and kind of like a snorkeling what do you call that thing that mouthpiece that you see used in snorkeling so he must have some kind of plan and he came to say that but Lily kind of took his position today <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Saga City Cultural Hall. Oh, are they already here? Japanese got talent. No, Japanese got <laughs> performance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn, Sakura is. Yeah, must be. Oh. Oh, damn. Whoa, they are also kind of fans, that mean. Who is this? Oh, damn. Little boy. Light? Conan's voice, isn't it? Detective Conan's voice. His name is Light. Okay. Conan's voice. Definitely, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, today she'll only do. It's weird hearing light as a name, you know, like it reminds me of Death Note. Oh my god, this, this kid is... Okay. Yeah. Damn! This kid! Okay. Oh, so he took that as a business opportunity. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Damn, this kid is... Wow, Tai is behaving herself. <laughs> okay. Yeah.
I don't think Lily would be bothered by that. Let's see. There you go. Like, anyway, like, Lily won't be bothered. Like, I'm sure, like, uh... Okay, let's see. Like, Lily's accustomed to all of these. Damn, three... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I'm I'm also looking forward to his performance. Let's see. Matki pandit. What? Come on, like, I, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that is also cheering. Oh. Damn. Wow, completely changed. The way Wow, amazing. The acting skills. Wow. Wow. That was amazing. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what light will do. Oh, damn. His confidence. Okay, he's juggling the balls. Oh, damn. Woo. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, there you go. Honestly speaking, I can't juggle like that. <laughs> Woo! Damn! Yeah, he's talented. Oh, wow! Okay. Okay, that was good. Mm, oh. Expected? I'm sure Lily also got selected, didn't she? <clears throat> what? Is there some other plan she... he is... Oh! No semi-finals? Okay, directly finals, okay. Okay, was he hiding his actual talent or something? Like, probably he's going to do something. Even <laughs> Thai is. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, he's practicing. <laughs> Whoa! Damn, the way he... Uh. Damn, yeah, the death was the main thing that like, haunted Lily as well. Well, Damn, nothing phases him. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Um, okay, that was a bit. Let's see how he sings. Oh, oh, did he know? Oh, no, he, yeah, so he, she cannot perform that, can she? Yeah, oh no. I'm sure like he knew about it some way that Lily's going to sing this. So that's why to sabotage. I think so. Yeah, like. Wow. <sighs> oh, wait. What color spray? Oh. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, the song was good. Like, he sang it well. But you know. <laughs> I'm sure Lily has something up the sleeves. Is she gonna dance or something? Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, it's like an idol, like, you know? The thing that they do best. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> oh alternate arrangement well i did not even uh, like notice that it's the same song wow <laughs> oh damn that's amazing Like, we're so good, I didn't even notice that it's the same song. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh damn. That is also seen. Nice. Good. That was good. <laughs> Die. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure that will score bonus points. That will that will be bonus points, I'm sure. Hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Come on, Lily. Or maybe not. I don't... Oh, God. Yeah. I kind of thought. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a shame, but you know. I don't know, I feel like Lily could have gotten, like, you know, could have won this because of the fact that she kind of improvised in, on the spot. Like, I'm sure that, like, was, like, you know, worth some bonus points. Yeah, that was... Oh. Wait, what is? Well, about that. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh, it got viral on YouTube or my tube, whatever. <laughs> wow, I love French too. Okay, something good happened out of this. You know, more um what do you call it? Popularity? Nice. Wow, that was good. Okay. I was kind of thinking by the end of it, maybe like, you know, something like this is going to happen that Lily won't win. win. Like the way they were building it up kind of implied that. So I was not surprised much, you know, when they announced Light as the winner. But I don't know, if I was at least the judge, I would probably give Lily you know, a few bonus points for kind of, you know, like as the judges said that it must have been tough to improvise on spot. But I can kind of understand like, you know, Light himself has a different type of talent, like, you know, which probably I think the judges thought that it was 
uh, what can I say, better than Lily's performance, you know? So, yeah, like I can't blame them because it was not that Light's performance was bad, it was great. Like, they were kind of, you know, what can I say, evenly matched, Lily and Light. So, like, I'm not disappointed that Light won. Like, something good happened out of this in the end, you know, like they became more popular, Lily became more. Lily and Francis became more popular. So, uh, wh what is the the saying like? Uh, what uh, has a, everything has a silver lining or something? No. What's that? Okay, that's the end. What's that saying like? Uh, a silver lining or something? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there is, there's a saying like that, isn't it? Like everything has a silver lining or something. Anyways, um, okay, okay. So let's talk about this episode. Um, one thing that I want to say, uh, like you know, uh, kind of mentioned before, is now I've seen Zombieland Saga, uh, like you know, season one. So now, like, there's one thing I'm going to like talk about. Like, um, as far as I could understood from uh, understand from uh, season one, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Lily is a male, isn't he? Like, as far as I could understand from season one, that's what I understood. Because with the whole, like, you know, uh, growing hair on the face and, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to, like, uh, mention, uh, I don't know, like, uh, that's why, like, I was kind of hesitating which pronoun to use to, like, you know, uh, to address him or her. Because, like, like, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, I think, like, at least I think that Lee is a male. Uh, from season one as far as i can like you know uh, decipher because the anime did not like you know kind of n like never mentioned it correct like properly like it was kind of implied that it like lily was actually a male and you know like seeing that hair is growing like it kind of uh, made him go into shock and that's why like you know like uh, because of the overworking as well like uh, his heart was kind of uh, what can i say mm worn out and like also like there's some heart uh, like complications as well which kind of like you know coupled with the shock uh, you know made like you know uh, kind of took his life so like that's what I understood now if I'm wrong be sure to correct me down in the comments so that's why I was kind of hesitating like you know how to refer to him or her like uh, like you know should I refer to him as a her or you know as a like or, or as a male or a female so anyways that's one thing that I thought that I should probably mention in the beginning and anyways so okay uh, that and one thing that I liked about this episode was that light was not one of those like you know uh, antagonistic characters who was just who were just you know nasty like light like that's why i never like you know in this episode i never felt bad about him winning the show by the end of it because he was talented and he like it, like you know his performance showed that he worked hard for it and like him being a bit what can i say um prideful and a bit you know like condescending like that's one thing that i can forgive if he or she like works hard for it like you know so like it, it was not that like he was not one of those kids who like you know were like extremely talented did not have to do anything kind of like had connections and stuff and still condescending and like you know uh, like talk like uh, you know like he owns the world something like that it was not a character like that that's why like that's why i liked light in this like you know uh, episode usually in these types of episode the person like who is in light's position is someone that usually the audience does not like you know because of like you know how he or she acts like condescend in a condescending way like uh, acts as if like he or she knows everything stuff like that so that's why i liked light in this episode uh like and and also that's also the reason why when he won in the end i thought that okay like you know like lily did a good performance light did a good performance and they were kind of evenly matched so i am not that much you know 
disappointed that light won it's something that he also worked hard for as he said like he had a dream as well so i'm sure like he worked extremely hard for it and like is able to stand on this stage now because of his hard work so i can respect that and that's why i say that okay he won it like it's all right you know like if the judges decided that he was better there must be a reason for it uh, but i don't know like in my opinion i think lily should have won this even though light had done an amazing performance i would have probably given lily a better like you know score a bonus score just for the fact that she like uh, not she he or she, okay he or she improvised for it you know lily improvised for this and it was not that like you know like as the judges said that it must have been tough for suddenly to see that the song that you're going to perform someone else is performing like the judges knew about that so i was expecting them to kind of give lily a, a few bonus points for that but you know uh, anyways like that did not happen but still by the end of it everyone like be, kind of became the winner lily got uh, like you know uh, <laughs> viral on my tube <laughs> and as like you know uh, what's his name light light kind of like won this uh, contest and he is also a bit closer to his dream and i can like you know like appreciate that and another thing that is like another thing that i think you know um okay another thing that i'm going to talk about here is the intent you know what they wanted like light and lily now okay big like if i think it like this i think light getting the uh, like you know winning the competition was better okay like hear me out like light is doing something for himself isn't he like he has his dream he is working for himself and that's why like you know like he he really wants that you know uh, like he really wanted to win this because winning this competition i'm sure it will uh, open a lot of paths for him in the future which is extremely uh, what can i say like extremely re required for him to go and uh fulfill his dream which is as he said broadway so him winning this competition i think he needed this most because if like you know if, if let's like think about a different situation where lily wins if lily won this like you know he won like she like lily won this competition and then like uh you know like light like light would have lost it and lily winning this competition what would like you know lily even do by like I, I don't know if i'm able to explain it properly the thing that i want to say is like light winning this competition was needed for him to go and catch his dreams whereas even if lily does not win this competition lily's goal is that is like you know franchushu's um uh, what can i say like franchushu's uh getting more fans and like them being more popular that's like lily's goal so that could be um, fulfilled by many other means for example as we saw in this episode my tube <laughs> like you know them getting viral in it now this thing won't help in light's case light light really needed the, to win this competition because this will help in a way whereas at the same time like you know franchushu members did not need to win this competition to catch the dreams they could have they can get their dreams uh, fulfilled in a lot other ways so it's like light had only one what can i say door to choose from and that door is like winning this competition and francis members had a lot of doors to choose from one of those doors was definitely winning this competition but there are different doors as well apart from that another door is my tube another door is something else there's there, there are different like a various amount of doors so i'm sure like you know like even like even if this door got closed in front of them like winning this competition this door got closed and this door opened for light like you know francis could take many other different roads uh, many other different doors and go 
like you know carry on their path whereas i think light really needed to win this i'm not sure if i was able to explain it properly or not <laughs> because you know language barrier <laughs> i'm still a bit uncomfortable talking in english but you know uh, like that's what i'm trying to say so in a way i think light needed this so i'm glad that he won and you know like lily also kind of got like you know got viral and that surely is going to help francisu as well which is like the main goal for them like francisu getting more popular like look at this like you know there's like more like more than a million views <laughs> and yeah in my tube so that's good and <clears throat> one thing that you know like um uh, light said that like these type of like professions of like child uh, idol like you know like performing idol activities as a child these are only like you know this can only what can i say like this can only be done when you are at that age if you grow up then like it's all over and like obviously like i'm i'm obviously like i'm not uh, like i've never been to japan i know nothing about this everything that i'm going to, like i'm talking about is something that i have heard from others and like you know uh, our knowledge from animes and different stuff but as far as my knowledge i think the idol industry is like this like you know this kind of uh, like it's extremely competitive like as far as i've heard from other people and from like you know different animes as well like this this whole like competition thing like you know this idol group is winning and this idol group is like you know is unable to catch that like you know become that popular and there's this whole like this environment is very like professional and very competitive so <laughs> excuse me so just like you know uh, like said that like like similarly in like child idol group as well I, i'm guessing like they have like a um, like requirement like from this age group to this age group you're going to be like uh, you know you'll, you'll be able to perform if they grow up that's it like no more chances then like he or she have to try and go for something else you know like from child idol group to like you know the normal idol groups and like even like even if he or she gets chance like you know gets a chance to perform in those idol groups uh like they're they're growing up so again when they grow up it it will again like the lang like age barrier will again come in front of them and if they are older than the certain age group again i think they they like you know they have to uh, vacate their position something like that i'm not sure i think like and these are all like uh, everything that i'm talking about from second hand knowledge you know i might be wrong if i'm wrong like you know i apologize for it but yeah and like as like like said that i'm going to do something else i'll be like something independent you know i'll be independent i'll not rely on this whole like child idol thing i'll be something myself and i think that's very respectful and because of like also because of that like he really needed to win this so that he can like you know go further and chase his dreams and even though the thing he did was a little bit what can i say um uh what do you call it like he kind of sabotaged really in a way but you know like yeah okay i can forgive him for that because like like it was something you, you know like that he did to win and like you know at, like at least by the end of it he understood he realized his mistake and he also realized that like if i was in his like you know lily's position i won't be able to do it so even if i won the uh, contest uh, i would have lost like in any other situation so yeah like i'm like i'm really glad like you know like light was like light's character is something like this it's not that like typical like you know anime villain of like oh i will sabotage you and i will ruin your life something like that like, like you know those type of haughty uh, uh what do you call it like condescending anime villains <laughs> like at least like like you know light had a redeeming you know person a personality which kind of redeemed himself by the end of it 
and he's also talented so yeah and uh, what else and yeah like lily's dance like you know the dance and that way of singing kind of got popular as well so and then like they by the end of it they're also like performing that in the live stage and all and that was good and uh, yeah okay another thing like I, I kind of mentioned it before but i think like uh light's voice actor is edogawa conan isn't it from detective conan i watched detective conan so like i've heard a, you know conan's voice many many times so i can, i'm kind of like i know what his voice sounds like <laughs> so it's kind of weird like you know this thing like in detective conan like conan is this little kid isn't he so like in this anime as well like light is also a little kid and another thing that really <laughs> is weirding me out is that his name is light like i always whenever i hear a light i kind of like my brain goes towards death note death death notes direction and i remember like yagami light so <laughs> i'm mean, like throughout this whole episode i was kind of imagining this light as that light you know <laughs> and his like the way he was talking and everything was also kind of like that you know like uh, condescending and everything <laughs> yeah, it was a weird experience i have to say like uh like this kid like the way he was like you know like the way his name was light uh ozora light and the way he was talking the way he was like you know acting and everything <laughs> anyways and another thing that i'm uh, like noticing is tai is getting extremely animated nowadays you know like like we can understand that tai is able to like you know understand many things like you know like when to clap like he she she also feels like you know has feelings whenever like everyone like is sad she also kind of, kind of gets sad and like you know in, in this episode as well when sakura was eavesdropping tai was quiet she, she she did not like you know kind of utter any word so that kind of shows that she knew that she should not talk at this moment <laughs> and in the previous episode as well like tai was drumming and everything and it's good like seeing tai also kind of you know i won't be surprised if by the end of this season like you know tai suddenly starts talking or something <laughs> that would be funny you know but who knows like you know but yeah so yeah that was it that was this episode so it was a nice episode like this was obviously like a lily episode lily centric episode so i'm guessing we're also going to get uh, the other member centric episode as well i think sakura centric episode is left um yugiri uh, centric episode is left who else yugiri never got any character development in season one like there was no like in season one also like there was these type of episodes where it was like you know focused on one character but yugiri i think never got one so i hope like in this season we get like you know one episode which is kind of solely focusing on yugiri and you know like i also want one uh, kotaro centric episode i would love that you know tasumi kotaro centric episode where we get to see how like you know his past and we know like he is somehow connected to sakura like uh like those kind of things i want to know and yeah so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was episode number five of zombie and saga revenge so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below if you want to say anything i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of zombie and saga revenge so until then goodbye and have a nice day